This video was made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. Check out patreon.com slash nwr for all the details. It would seem that Tribute, the studio behind such wonderful games as Panzer Paladin and Mercenary Kings, has gotten into the publishing game. They've partnered with developer Zenovia Interactive to produce Steel Assault, a tough-as-nails but mercifully brief action platformer. Even though it's fun and inventive, it also toes the line between difficult and frustrating. You play as Taro Takahashi a soldier armed with a mean energy weapon zipline out to defeat the evil General Magnus Pierce and his band of cybernetic malcontents from taking over the world, which already appears to be in a post-apocalyptic age. Steel Assault looks and plays like an old 16-bit mascot platformer, and personally, it reminded me of a GBA game. Takahashi may not have the most complicated move set in the world, but it gets the job done. He can double jump, slide for a few frames of invincibility, whip his energy whip in eight directions, and use a zip line, also in eight directions. The zip line really sets Steel Assault apart. Taro will often have to bridge gaps between platforms, both horizontally and vertically. He can attack while moving across the zip line as well. The game moves at a very fast pace, and I found that I could easily beat Easy Mode in less than an hour, although some of that time was spent repeating the final boss, who is surprisingly tricky. Taro has a good sized health bar, but health pickups are exceedingly rare. Thankfully, the stages are quite short, and his health refills upon entering a new area. You'll also do a lot of melee combat, and your enemies are refreshingly diverse. However, there are times where the difficulty seems to not stem from enemies that are themselves tricky to take down, but instead because there are so many enemies on screen at once. Some fun Contra-like segments have Taro utilizing a gun turret to take down aerial assaults, including a pretty awesome robotic monster. The boss fights are incredibly fun, and require some inventive thinking on your part to avoid attacks. That zipline will come in handy. If you die, and you often will, Taro will continue from the beginning of the last area he entered, which is usually on the boss's doorstep. Steel Assault offers several difficulty levels, each in order of magnitude more difficult than the last. Another big part of the game's charm is its commitment to the 16-bit aesthetic. The game begins with a fun animated opening, and each level has its own title card. Several toggleable options include a CRT filter, the degree of CRT curvature, border art, and something called a bilinear filter, which gives the screen an additional layer of noise that I found exceedingly delightful. My biggest knock against the game has to do with the slide. In theory, Taro is invincible while sliding, but the problem here is twofold. First, the slide is ridiculously short, and there's a brief recovery period, so you can't really chain slides together. And second, you have to press down and B to slide. In a feverish boss fight, that's not a great combination. I would have preferred that the slide had a dedicated button like A, which isn't used for anything. The slide could stand to be a few frames longer too. As is, I rarely used it effectively. This is a shame, because an effective slide would have made the higher difficulty levels much more tolerable. I feel like I say this with a lot of games, but I really enjoyed Steel Assault until I really didn't anymore. Up to that point, it was really fun, and I have to commend Zenovia Interactive on their effective graphical filters, which are a big part of the appeal. This video was made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. Did you know that Nintendo World Report is funded directly by fans like you? When you support Nintendo World Report on Patreon, you get immediate access to multiple exclusive podcasts every month, exclusive Discord channels, an early look at select content, and more. All for as little as a dollar a month. Check out patreon.com slash nwr for all the details.